So aerodynamic efficiency obviously matters a lot. And you can see it's, it's uh, shaped like a bullet. It's really aerodynamic. Um, and uh, that, that helps a lot. Uh, so we get uh, less than two kilowatt uh, hours Two kilowatt mile. hours a mile. Yep. So and, and that's the name of the game, is yeah. efficiency there. Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's really efficient uh, in every way. And uh, I mean, the team's done a lot of awesome work. I mean, we, yes. we went into the wind tunnel um, with this really cool model, rolling road, the whole nine yards, and pulled in a lot of the learnings and all of our features from the car side that you know give us such great real-world efficiency there. And really want to make sure that the you know the truck and the trailer have to work together. You know, this is a combination. This is not just the truck. If you optimize one, you actually might disrupt the whole combination. And so we spent a lot of time, both you know virtually, but also in the wind tunnel, to make this happen. And really some next level engineering to uh, uh, everything they had to do there. And you know, it means that we've got a really efficient truck. Yeah. So. As I said, it's, uh, it's as easy to drive as a Model 3. So it's like, uh, like with basically no training, you can drive this. Um, you know, it's, you have to think bigger when you're driving it. <laughs> Uh, but it's not like uh, it's not hard to drive. It's really easy. And we put the center, it put the seat in the center for max visibility, low floor. You can stand up in the cabin. Yeah, and that's actually like a really big deal. I mean, and, I mean, you're a tall guy, Elon. Like yeah. you're able to stand up just fine. And you know, nice thing is, is that if you're a truck driver and you're out during the day and it's you know it's cold, it's snowy, whatever, you can get in and you, well, this isn't a sleeper cab. This is a day cab. You can still stand up and you can you know, shed your jacket, put it on the wall all in the comfort. You can put your coveralls on while in the cab. So if you have to go do a dirty job, you can do that comfortably as opposed to being out in the elements. So that's, you know, that level of space is you know, unheard of. And we were able to do that with some pretty innovative packaging. And on top of it, there's plenty of cargo storage, you know, for drivers that need to bring any tools, other equipment along. And not to mention, you know, we've got the plugins, the wireless charging, everything they need on the uh, electronic side as well. Yeah, so I've uh, got efficiency in, in every aspect of the vehicle. Uh, I've got one touch a suspension dump, so you can, it's very easy to uh, attach to the trailer. Um, it, it saves time and money. It's, uh, the fleet's more efficient, and the driver's home sooner. Yeah, I mean, it, really, we're trying to extend the idea of this efficiency from not just while you're on the road, but into the yard as well. That's before and after you know, the truck has done its job on the road. Because that means that you know, drivers at the end of the day are spending less time at the yard, and they're getting home earlier. And it makes their lives easier. You know, we've got a light test that's easy to execute, helps with compliance. There's all these little things that uh, the design team really spent their time you know, researching. They did ride-alongs. They studied. They did all this work. It was really cool to watch them put it. I mean, I think they even took like, a bunch of like, the various cups and put them in CAD. And you'll see them like, put them in various cup holder sizes and places. They'll like, uh, mock up a bag. They'll do all kinds of neat stuff to understand how a driver works throughout the day. And uh, it means that they'll have a more efficient uh, experience overall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously, to charge a, a truck like this quickly, you need a uh, high power charger. So we developed a megawatt class charger, as it's capable of charging at a megawatt to DC. Yeah. Um, and it's our next generation immersive cooling. So it's, it's liquid cooled. Uh, so you don't need like a gigantic elephant trunk of a cable. You can actually have a small small cable, and that cable it delivers uh, a megawatt. Um, and uh, yeah, we've three x the current density. I mean, this is really cool stuff. I mean, we took you're actually immersing the conductor in the coolant, this water-based coolant that we have, and we're then doing some really neat isolation monitoring on the back end to ensure that it's safe and delivering that it needs to. But it means that we can really shove a lot of current in a very, very small place. So you know, for those that have worked uh, and charged their cars on a V3 supercharger and the cable's nice and you know, maneuverable, it's the same thing here, but now we're just shoving a megawatt through it.